we have here another problem where three points are given and we're going to prove or show that these uh, three points are collinear or in a straight line. Without further ado or without wasting any more time, let's start our tutorial. Before we solve that problem, I will give you an idea on how to show or prove that three points point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3 are collinear or in straight line. Okay, we can say that points are collinear if the distance from P1 to P2 plus the distance from P2 to P3 is equal to the longer the longest distance P1 to P3. In this particular figure, we, we can formulate an equation out of it. And that is distance P1, P2 plus distance P2, P3 equal distance P1, P3. So this is the equation that we are going to use in proving that three points P1, P2 and P3 are collinear or in straight line. Show that the points point 0.1 having a radius of 5 and 3 pi all over 4 and point 0.2 with a radius 5 and theta negative pi all over 4 and point 0.3 with a radius negative 10 and the polar angle negative pi pi all over 4 are in straight line or in collinear. Okay. So we'll start locating the uh, given point 0.1 here start locating 3 pi all over 4 but if it, if you observe 3 pi all over 4 in is in radian so we will convert that in terms of degree so we have this since pi is 180 multiply by 3 and that's equivalent to pi 40 divided by 4 and that's equal to 135 degree so locating the theta 1 which is 135 degree Okay, so we'll start measuring it from the uh, positive polar axis. So this is it. That is 135. And from the pole, we will draw a line. Since R1 is equal to pi, we will lay off 5 units distance from the pole. So starting from the pole, so we have the first unit here. And we have the second unit, the third unit, the fourth unit, and the last units. So, this is the given point, and this is R1 is equal to 5, and it has a coordinate of 5 and 135. Next, we have point 2. Again, uh, theta 2 is negative pi all over 4, which is in terms of, of region. So, converting again in degree angle, so we have this. That is negative 45. Since pi is 180, that is negative 180 divided by 4 is equal to negative 45. Since theta 2, which is a negative 45, we will measure the negative 45 from the polar axis in a clockwise direction. Okay, clockwise direction. So this is the negative 45. Okay, from the pole, we will draw a line. Okay, since R2 is 5, we will lay off 5 units distance from the pole. So we have the first unit here, the second unit, the third unit, the fourth unit, and the last unit. So we have this as our point. And this is R2 is equal to 5. And this is the given point 2 with the coordinates of 5 and negative 45. And the last point to be located now is point 3. Again, theta 3, which is negative pi pi all over 4, is in radian. Converting that again in terms of degree, so we have that as negative 225. Since pi is 180, multiply by negative 5 and that is 900 divided by 4 
that is equal to negative 225 and that is theta 3 now since uh, theta 3 is negative 225 we will measure that again in a clockwise direction from the positive polar axis so this is the uh, negative 225 okay since r3 happens to be negative 10 we will measure the radius 3 which is negative 10 in the opposite direction of this line so from the pole we will measure 10 units here so we draw a dashed line here okay so count the number of units which is 10 so we have the first unit here the second unit the third unit the fourth unit the fifth unit the sixth unit seventh unit eighth unit the ninth unit and the last unit so this is the point three and that is the distance from point one to point three and happens to be the r3 and that is 10 and so this is the given point 3 happens to be negative 10 and negative 225 okay so in the given statement we are going to prove that these three points point 1 point 2 and point 3 are collinear or are, are in straight line so we will show that the distance from p1 to p2 plus the distance from P2 to P3 is equal to the distance from P1 to P3 okay so we are going to use the formula that we derived earlier okay that's all about for the second part now if you learn something in this tutorial video if you like it Please give me a thumbs up. If you have questions related to this topic, leave it in the comment section down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do consider subscribe and click the notification bell so you may have some update of my upcoming video tutorial. This is Reda Lope. Thanks for watching. May the Lord God bless us all.